test activity two. Design the following system to place the closed loop poles at negative 0 0.1 and positive 0 0.1. So I will calculate the desired characteristic equation first. So delta D of Z is equal to Z plus 0 0.1 times Z minus 0 0.1 or Z squared minus 0 0.01. Next, we're going to calculate ZI minus G plus HK, which is going to be Z, Z zero, zero, Z minus 0 0.1, zero, 0 0.2, zero, plus one zero times K1, K2. And when we do the addition of those matrices, we end up with Z minus 0 0.1 plus K1 is the first element. K2 as the second element, negative 0 0.2 as the third element, and Z as the fourth element. So now we find the characteristic equation by finding the determinant of ZI minus G plus HK, which equals Z squared plus K1 minus 0 0.1 Z plus 0 0.2 K2. So as before, we equate coefficients, and what we get here is that K1 minus 0 0.1 must equal 0, so K1 is equal to 0 0.1. And then we have 0 0.2 K2 is equal to negative 0 0.01, so K2 is equal to negative 0 0.05. So the gain matrix K is equal to 0 0.1, negative 0 0.05. In class activity three, design the following system to place the, close, the closed loop poles at zero. This is a, our example of a deadbeat system that we discussed before. And select the value of the pre-filter to reduce the error to zero. So G is equal to 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0, 0 0.2, and H is equal to 0, 0 0.1. So our desired characteristic equation, delta D of Z, is simply equal to Z squared. So once again, the first thing we're going to do is find ZI minus G plus HK, which is Z, zero, zero, Z, minus 0 0.1, 0 0.2, zero, zero point 0.2, plus H, zero, zero point 0.1 times K. K1, K2. So when we solve for this summation, we have Z minus 0 0.1, negative 0 0.2, 0 0.1 K1, Z minus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 K2. So delta of Z is the determinant of ZI minus G plus HK, which is equal to Z squared plus the quantity 0 0.1 K2 minus 0 0.3 times Z plus 0 0.02 K1 minus 0 0.01 K2 plus 0 0.02. So just like before, the first thing we do is we equate coefficients. So we're going to have 0 0.1 K2 minus 0 0.3 equals 0, so K2 is equal to 3. And 0 0.02 K1 minus 0 0.01 K2 plus 0 0.02 equals 0. And when we solve for K1, K1 is equal to 1 half. So we have that our gain matrix K is 1 half 3. So to answer the question about the pre-filter, we're going to assume that C is equal to 1, 0. And then we're going to solve for the closed loop transfer function, T of S equal to Y of S over R of S. So this is going to equal C, 1, 0, over the characteristic equation, Z squared, Z plus 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.05, Z minus 0 0.1 times 
GPF times H, so this is 0, 0 0.1 GPF. So when we simplify all this, it becomes 0 0.02 GPF over Z squared. So we want our steady state error to be a zero. So ESS is one minus T of one, and that has to equal zero. One minus 0 0.02 GPF has to equal zero. So GPF was, must equal one over 0 0.02. Or GPF has to equal 50 for a zero steady state error. And this concludes today's lecture on discrete time systems state variable feedback.